Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of 5 Fun Facts. In the last two episodes we took a look at Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter 2, the two fighting games that went head to head in defining their genre. But in the console battle of the early 90s, it was another two gaming icons that possibly had the biggest rivalry of all. It was Nintendo vs Sega, it was Mario vs Sonic. Sega went to the drawing board with a look at creating their own mascot and poster boy to challenge Nintendo and the success of their own gaming icon, Mario. So Sega took the ideas to the streets of New York City, Central Park in fact, with different character designs. These included an armadillo, a dog, a rabbit and a hedgehog. They pitched the idea to random passers-by in which the hedgehog design came out on top. Sega quickly got to work. They gave him blue skin to match the colour of the Sega logo the spikes to give him an edgy cool look, and of course his iconic red shoes to portray speed. Sonic the Hedgehog was born. Come to think of it, Sonic the Armadillo doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Sonic the Hedgehog hit the shelves for the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis in June 1991, getting positive reviews across the board regarding character design, gameplay and visuals. It was the smash hit Sega had been looking for, and to this day has sold over more than 24 million copies. Nintendo and Mario had competition. Sega and Sonic were gunning for the crown that Nintendo had held since the late 80s. And at Sega's peak in January of 1992, Sega had actually outsold the SNES 2 to 1 and held a 65% share in the 16-bit console market. The level design was intended to attract both hardcore and casual players with an integration of challenging areas into an accessible level design. The basics are simple, get from A to B with as many rings as you can collect as fast as possible. But interestingly enough though, there is not just one route to get to your goal. Most levels have a high, mid and low route making it stand out from other platformers at the time. Level designer Naoto Ashima sketched all the zones out by hand. He was massively influenced by the pinball table machines and integrated flip flippers and bumpers into most stages to send Sonic in multiple directions like a pinball. This feature would also carry on into later Sonic sequels. With every hero, there comes a villain. Mario had Bowser and Sonic was no exception. Originally in Japan named Dr Eggman, Sega of America localised the name to Dr Robotnik but still used Eggman as his nickname. He's portrayed as a mad scientist who plans to conquer the world just like all of them do really. His oval shaped body, bald head and moustache are all main characteristics that were kept for his design throughout the series. He was designed to be the opposite of Sonic, bringing machines of development and destruction to Sonic's world of nature and peace. Eggman, or Dr Robotnik as we know him, has appeared in nearly every Sonic game since 1991 and is known as one of the most popular villains Different. in gaming history. Papa's got a brand new stash. Sonic has appeared in the gaming edition of the Guinness World Records many times. The 2008 edition, in fact, saw Sonic set the record for the best-selling game on Sega systems and the longest-running comic based on a computer game. The 2010 edition saw Sonic be placed 15th in the top 100 video game series of all time. And in 2015, Charles Griffin held the record for the fastest completion for the original game. He did it in a speedy 15 minutes and 5 seconds on the 1st of August, 2008. And there it is, 5 fun facts on Sega's mascot Sonic the Hedgehog. If you have any of your own facts on Sonic that you think deserve a mention, drop us a comment down below. And also check out our other fun fact videos coming up next. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get notified when more videos like this go live. And as always, stay safe, peace, and I'll see you in the next one.